So there is this person, Jenny Lorraine Nielsen, and she has this uh, thing called top topological, oh God, I already forgot it. I'm back. Topological United Field Theory. And there's a specific, por bleh, specific portion of it where it discusses wonder as a metric, a measurable, uh, quantifiable metric as part of this topology. And I'm ecstatic because I am not classically trained. I barely graduated high school. I was lucky to have because of my life. Uh, I, I had a difficult childhood, we'll just say that. And I'm just ecstatic to know that there is a mind out there who is being recognized for her brilliance. And it's also something that is about the nature of reality and how we experience it and how wonder is a part of that. I have been using awe and awestruck as a as the same term for that. And I have no mathematical expertise, but she is saying so many things that I have felt inside and I've been trying to talk about and I didn't have the language for. And there's this mathematician named, I believe it was Sarman Ramanujan. I apologize. I, his, his name is Ramanujan. And he was, he broke so many mathematical records, y'all. Like, but he had no training. It wasn't until someone from Oxford understood his language and was able to translate his dreams and magic into actual mathematics. And I am seeing this unfold in real time with a real human being who is so brilliant and she's saying so many things with tangibility that I have only had poetic and abstract words for. And I was met with so much resistance and to see her breaking down these barriers, I'm just, I'm so proud of her and I don't know who she is and I need to know more. And if more people like this exist that can translate that kind of stuff, I need to talk to you if you can be patient with me because I have so many things to say about this and my language just isn't the same as empirical evidence requires. But if you can help me get to that point, maybe we can have some magic happen. Not literal, but you know, some real kind of tangible, uh, relational uh, breakthroughs because I've wanted philosophy and ontology and physics and science to merge for so long and to see this start to unfold and more people talking about it. Also like Sabine Hossenfelder is talking about the nature of reality being like GPS and being malleable and ah, I'm just excited and seeing women and femme people doing this. More please.